Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about Marvel star and Iron Man's own girlfriend in the movies, none other than actress Gwyneth Paltrow. She's come up on this show a number of times, mostly related to her very, very questionable company called Goop. Goop is a company that Gwen started years ago and she basically comes up with these alternative health lifestyle fixes, like ways to help you that aren't like really doctor approved. She does these things like Uh, For example, South Park did a goof on what they call transpusions, where they kind of transplant your fecal matter in from one person to another. And that's supposed to make like a healthy revitalization of your health system. Now, that one actually has some kind of mild health related backings, but it's only supposed to be done in a surgical setting with like doctor's approval. But regardless... People like Gwyneth Paltrow are these, like, she's like a big hippie. You know, she loves this hippie dippy. She tries stuff, like, with stones and stuff. Like, she says these stones, these magic stones, like, emit magnetism rays that give you, like, younger skin. You know, just kind of BS like that. She promotes this stuff on her website all over the place. And we've covered one of her other products specifically that now seems to have a sequel. First, it was called A Candle That Smells Like Her Private Parts. And now it's a candle that smells like her, uh, basically when she gets laid, when she has sex, she has a candle that's reflecting that. So we're getting smells from Gwyneth Paltrow's nether regions. And although some people might be interested in that in a kind of fetish way, you know, I know she's a very pretty woman. She's an actress. I don't really have anything against her work. She's done great work in film, like all her stuff in the Marvel movies, other stuff, like she's done good films, but as far as her personal life and what she does with this goop stuff, it's very questionable and very kind of controversial and weird. It's just weird. That's why we've talked about it before. We've seen other YouTubers go over it. John Tron has an amazing series on her whole goop website. We mostly just covered her in relation to that South Park episode, the transpusions, and then we covered her first candle, which was about her nether regions, and now we're covering a candle that's about her when she has sex. And here's the first post that I saw about it. It comes from a tweet that says, Gwyneth Paltrow plugs smells like my orgasm candle with help from son Moses. Now, here's where it gets even worse. Oh my God, her son is involved with a candle that smells like her privates. I mean, how do you even get there? What was she thinking? Why was this a good idea to advertise in this way? I really don't get it. And honestly, like someone should be checking in on those kids. But it's also not surprising. We know Gwyneth Paltrow. We've talked about just now how she's very, very like forward thinking. She thinks she's really smart and hippy dippy. And it basically just comes from no knowledge. Like she's not a scientist. She's not a doctor. She doesn't have any kind of degree or experience working in this kind of field. Basically, she's just an actor who's rich. She threw some of her extra money at this company, and now she's using it as this playground to kind of try out new stuff, pretend she's helping herself, but she's really not. She's just going hippy-dippy, like, you know, like we said, she's just kind of smelling her own fart. She's very, very self-centered, very self-confident, overly uh, inflated ego you know she never gets told no because not only is she a big hollywood actress she's also a pretty girl who's probably never struggled or had any issues or anything to worry about in her life um in addition like about the kids thing first of all her son's name is moses i think another one of her kids name was like apple she's one of those people that names her kids like these strange oddball names moses isn't the worst one but it's kind of like biblical it's like oh you're gonna name your son moses like i'm gonna name my son jesus Or, you know, you're going to name him something else, like, related to, like, the biggest prophets and the biggest people in the Bible and stuff. But that's besides the point. The problem here is we're really in a gross smell. Like, I'm not sure this is a smell, a candle that really should be taken seriously. I mean, it's her right to sell it, but it's also our right to goof on it and just kind of say what. And then also, the fact that she gets her son involved is super messed up, like, possibly, I don't know, corrupt or illegal. I don't think... There's any problem, but I just wouldn't want to be talking to my kids about that kind of stuff. And the fact that she's so open about it, like throwing it in your face, it really goes to show like she's kind of like bragging. She thinks she's cool and she's got this candle up in the picture and it's just really weird. And that's why she's getting railed in the comments. It says, help from son. These are the people held up as models to follow and worship. This guy says his mind's blown. He's gagging in that meme. Cancel her. She's getting gross. Getting. Do we send real cops for this or social workers i'm good with either just get that kid to safety that's a good point i think the other point is she's kind of like 
getting over the hill and older. And that's why she's kind of lashing out and trying to remain relevant. She knows that her looks are fading. Looks will always fade. And these girls have like a finite kind of lifetime, as would everyone does in the public eye. But when you lean so heavily on looks, this is the kind of stuff that happens later in life. Now, Gwen is actually already pretty old. I think she's like 50. Like she's hang on very, very long. But this just goes to show to me, it's like she's begging for attention. She's not getting the roles she used to. I know she was still in Marvel movies. She was still in that Avengers Endgame for a little bit, but she's not a star anymore. She's not like the lead star. So she has to do little things like this to try and get attention. The New York Post has more details. Let's go ahead and read on in this article. Looks like she's talking to Jimmy Fallon about it here. Jimmy's getting into it, having a laugh. Pretty funny. Uh, I'm sure you could have a joke about it. I think that's where that image comes from as she holds the candle up in this interview. But let's see what else the article says. Gwyneth Paltrow just loves the smell of her own scent. Tuesday on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, the goop queen introduced the latest to her odiferous collection of candles inspired by Paltrow's own BO called This Smells Like My O. The 10.5 ounce candle costs $75 and is available on Goop's website. Alongside a colorful description, a fitting follow-up to that candle, you know the one, that this blend is made with tart grapefruit, neroli, and ripe cassis berries, blended with gunpowder tea and Turkish rose absolutes for a scent that's sexy, surprising, and wildly addictive. The candle, a collaboration between Goop and fragrance brand Heretic, is currently available in the U.S. only. So here's another thing to point out, because this candle is $75, which is just a ridiculously overpriced candle. For something that smells like a woman's B.O. I mean, that's pretty bold to ask for that much money. And to the fact that they think this is cute and they'll go for it. I mean, I think people are just going to buy it. It's just because of her name. You know, it's also because of the novelty of it. People bought those candles before because they were kind of goofing on her half the time. And I saw YouTubers buying them sometimes. I remember Critical, uh, you know, he had a, that candle and tried it out in a video. video. It was stuff like that was just funny. Other people might have some kind of fetish with it, which is just making it weirder and weirder. It's like, dude, you're a chick. You're famous. She has millions of dollars. I don't get why she needs to do these publicity stunts. Earlier this year, the 47-year-old actress made headlines with another candle dubbed This Smells Like My Vagina. As Paltrow waxed on, get it, about her fragrance climax, her son Moses was apparently sitting just outside of the frame before Fallon invited him to chat. The 14-year-old son of Paltrow and her ex Coldplay frontman Chris Martin, 43, said he was playing piano and guitar in his free time. So here's the son joining in, talking about his mom's uh, place, nether regions. Kind of odd. The Iron Man star told late night viewers that the original candle idea was supposed to be punk rock feminist. That's when she suggested that her latest candle, which comes in a box decorated with fireworks, might be just the thing for Fallon's wife, Nancy, Juvenin, 53. You are crushing it, Jimmy told her. Well, I don't know about crushing it. I know that she's definitely getting attention, but I think it's really for the wrong reasons. It's really like sad to see this kind of actress kind of fall from grace. Like we liked her. We wanted to love her. I I said I enjoyed her movies. You know, she did really well in Iron Man and Avengers. And, you know, even in Avengers Endgame, she got to put the super suit on. She put the Iron Man suit on. I thought maybe she might even get a spinoff or be in a girl Avengers movie. But now I'm like, what? I guess she could still come back for that, but damn, she is really screwing the pooch on this. I mean, God. And then to bring your son into this like it's cute or something, it's just really strange. Like, I would be totally embarrassed. Here's a related video about the last candle. Just look at her face. It's just like really smug. She's just like, seems like the most smug, fake person ever. The other thing worth noting is there was some controversy about how She's like tries to be all healthy in this like health nut yoga, does all this goop stuff, but she still smokes cigarettes, which is strange. Like I think she smokes just a couple a week or something. It's like a bad habit that she admits to. And I'm not trying to be a purist. Like I'm no health expert or super healthy guy myself, but I'm not promoting it. I'm not trying to pretend to be this goop salesman, like acting like I should advise all these people on this stuff. She's just fronting. She's just kind of putting this out there when really the worst part is she's probably just born this way. Like she's just born pretty. She had pretty parents. She didn't really have to train or do much for this. She's not like exactly super fit. She's just skinny and blonde and attractive. And then people think that person might know how to give advice, but really that's not the case. That's not how it works. Like just because 
she was born this way doesn't mean she knows how to tell other people to become blonde and pretty and have good genes. I mean, most of this is natural. You can't even like learn this stuff. The late night host raved about Goop's product line during their remote interview via video conference. Alan45 also showed off some of his favorite goods from the Goop store during their chat, such as Dr. Barbara Sturm's face mask. The German beauty mogul was made famous in 2016 for her highly novel yet gruesome cosmetic treatment, the vampire facial, involving, you guessed it, human blood. Your own, of course. I love what TV stardom has done to you, said Paltrow, adding that Fallon barely showered when they first met. Okay not really sure about that ending part just talking about more weird products involving blood involving your privates involving you know doing stuff with your poo like it's just a really weird strange place to be especially for these actors and then you know jimmy fallon's just kind of going along with it i think he's just there for a laugh uh i think he maybe should question this stuff a little bit more i'm not sure how this interview actually went i know we can't show it here because you know We can't have any copyrights and all that stuff. But I think you guys get the point. Gwyneth Paltrow is gross. She's involving her kid in this strange business. Goop is a scam. And we shouldn't be listening to celebrities much at all, especially ones that are just pretty and pampered and never really had to experience any kind of struggle. They're like, she didn't learn this. She was born this way. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Will you be buying Gwen's new candle? Do you think it's strange to involve her kid? And what do you think about Jimmy Fallon going along with all this? Let me know in the comments. Also, hit that like button to get this video shared. And until next time, you have a great day. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment to tell you about our new second channel. No BS News has been really ramping up recently. We've got over 10,000 subscribers now and it's growing each and every day. This is a new extra channel where I can give you guys more content, which includes extra videos, sometimes streams, sometimes other fun things too, clip shows, whatever you like. No BS News is gonna have it there for you. So make sure you check it out by either searching No BS News on YouTube or clicking the link below this video. Thanks for your time. Have a good one.